And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. And for Milwaukee, we'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the center, locking down the middle. And Greg, these are two of the more stacked teams when you look at their depth. Sometimes that can be a challenge for a coaching staff. No doubt about it. Anytime you've got to divvy up minutes, somebody's going to be unhappy. But you need a deep roster if you want to contend. Well, the find from the off guard Beasley there would like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. From deep, James. Here's Hachimura. Lopez with the block. And he gets it back. Two points. That one goes. Now, Giannis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on LeBron James. Brent, don't you love what a team player Giannis is? A star with very little ego. Well, one of the things, Greg, he does so well is deflect everything or reflect everything back to him. It's about him. He'll compliment his teammates, and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest level. No good on that one. Hey, Brent, here we're looking at Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's arguably the best player right now in the NBA. Not, not just the NBA, worldwide. That's a lot of space, Kevin, but you're not wrong. He is the best two-way player in the league with his physical dominance. He impacts the game in ways that no other player can. He hits the second from the line. Well, if you think that Giannis was going to stop working after he won a title, what do you think he's going to do in the years that they don't? This guy continues to be one of the hardest workers in the NBA. Now, here is Russell. Here's Hachimura. Lopez with the block. And so far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Aggressive and incredibly quick end to end. Lillard is always a threat on the fast break. The Lakers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. LeBron with it. He had 37 points last game out. Pass to Hachimura. Lopez with the block. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. And what a stretch it's been, Brent, for this Milwaukee franchise. All started by the drafting of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, just identifying him is one thing, Kevin. you got to also acknowledge the work that Giannis has put in. After that, they have done a great job of building around him. Had that not been the case in Milwaukee, you have to wonder whether he would have re-upped and signed that extension with the Bucks to continue his career here. And what would have happened in free agency? Now, here's Lillard. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. 
fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Here's James following the basket by Chris Middleton. Drops in the tray. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For Milwaukee, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Beasley, the pass to Giannis. Shot clock at six. And Davis sends it back. Look at the defense on display there from Davis. Lines up the shot and with perfect timing swats it away. Here's Reeves, covered by Beasley. Reeves gets the bucket. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Giannis kicks to Lillard. Back to Giannis. Trying to get open is Lopez. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Antetokounmpo's got five now. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. So the Lakers call timeout their first. And late in the regular season, Craig, in your decade plus in the NBA, you were looking forward to the playoffs more often than not. And as a player, you have to avoid that temptation to look ahead. But when you do, much nicer to look forward to the playoffs than vacation. Let's see the stat sheet here for Damian Lillard. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Davis dishes to LeBron. And the dunk by James. Still has the hops. LeBron, one of the most forceful dunkers in the league. The Bucs have gone 4-5 or five from the field so far. Three-pointer Lillard gets the three-pointer to fall. Lillard's got five. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. So it's the Bucks now. From the arc. Here's onto Takumbo. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He has seven. Lakers trailed by three. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Just can't give LeBron any opening. If you do, you're torched. Onto Takumbo, kicks to Lopez. Back to Giannis. Let's go. Just five to shoot. Hachimura grabs the miss. Oh, can't punish the defense 
for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Here's Lillard. He's got five. The pass to Anadokounmpo. Lopez outside. Passes it to Lillard. The three ball connects from three-point range. That's just too easy. You got to get Lillard to put it down. Lakers trailed by four. Here's LeBron. He's got seven. Lopez with the block. Here's Beasley. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for Milwaukee? Their defense has been so aggressive right out of the gate, wasting no time shutting shooters down here with authority. Well, one thing that's noticeable is just tremendous energy from everybody, and they put that into their transition play, and all that hustle is paying off. And it's Lillard missing. The Lakers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. James, that's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Well, AD doesn't always seek out shots. He's not a ball hog, so he's ready to score or make a pass. Lillard against Davis. Lillard, the pass to Beasley. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Beasley's got five now. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Here's James Lopez with the block. Down low. No good from Beasley. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Davis kicks to Hachimura. Giannis against James. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. He's got 11. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Pass to Lillard. The Bucks working the ball around. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Well, that's a nice toss up there, so you got to like the timing. But, of course, that's Giannis. He's going to grab anything. Here's Reeves. Over Beasley. No good off the back of the rim. Milwaukee leading by five. Middleton looking it over. Driving in. LeBron with some nice D. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And when AD takes off from the ground for alley-oops like this one, it really demoralizes the opponent. Here's Beasley following the basket by Anthony Davis. And the foul called on Austin Reeves. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Lakers. Vincent comes in for Austin Reeves. Beasley outside. Lillard against Russell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Lillard's got 10 points. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? And now a veteran in the NBA. You get the feeling every season is important to Dame Lillard. Yeah, but I get the feeling, Greg, that it's just not enough. These individual accolades and these high-scoring season. Dame Lillard wants to play in competitive basketball late into June. So it's going to be about championships for him moving forward. And it's sent back by Russell. And he gets it back. Prince against Middleton. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer Lillard. And Davis pulls it down. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. 
Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. To the middle, here's Hachimura. That shot, no good. Good D by Lopez. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Portis on the follow. Now it's a seven-point Milwaukee lead. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Vincent, the pass to Russell. Prince, right side. Russell kicks to Prince. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And checking out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. Putting up about 18 points per, six assists, and four rebounds. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him. He keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when the star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Here's Hachimura. Yep, that one goes. And Hachimura just strong doing what it took to get that one off. Bucks leading by seven. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. Yeah, just an amazing game when they met them last time out. Talk about a photo finish. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Alinari, he's checked in for Lopez. Jay Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Damian Lillard. The Lakers also changing it up. Jackson Hayes, he's checked in for Davis. Reddish comes in for Rui Hachimura. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Russell. Now, here is Golinari. 11 points for him in that last game against Oklahoma City. On the wing, Dinwiddie. He's defended by Connaughton. And they pick up two. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Beverly, the pass to Portis. Now here's Beverly, defended by Vincent. And he's able to get it back. Lakers trail by five. One thirty one left in the first. There's the drive. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Here's Beverly. 
It doesn't go for him. L.A.'s gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Dinwiddie. How last month turned out for him. And he's among the top 20 players in three-point field goal percentage. He has been locked and loaded from beyond. And yet, yeah, he's a true professional at the free throw line. It's a part of the game where he excels. You want him at the line for you in crunch time. And the first one drops. That one misses. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Bucks passing it around. Now here's Connaughton. Guarded by Reddish. The shot by Crowder, no good. The Lakers trail. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. Then Woody with the bucket. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Golinari against Prince. Trying to get something going. He doesn't hit that one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Torian Prince has such a great motor and the physical nature of his play. You got to appreciate that aggressiveness. The Lakers have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And both free throws good for Prince. And here's Beverly. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action in just a minute. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles? These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack and getting themselves to the basket. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. The Bucks trail. Taking a look at the Lakers. Hayes out there with LeBron James. Then it's Cameron Reddish. And it's Reeves in at the two guard. Now here's Beverly. Still yet to score. Nice shot by Portis. 
a good job of reading the pick and roll there from Patrick. You give him a passing lane, he's going to get to it. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Here's Dinwiddie. There's the lob to the hoop. And Hayes throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. The Bucks shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Now here's Giannis. Giannis rips it down. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player, his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Dinwiddie dishes to Hayes. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Beverly against Dinwiddie. And the wide open shot from Reddish. Off target from outside. Now, here's Connaughton. His last outing, he had eight points. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Bucks lead by two. That one thing I miss about this era, the emphasis on scoring back to the basket. You just don't see it as often. Well, you miss it, Kevin, because that's the only way you knew how to score. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, uh, no, it's, it's not the most efficient shot. And trust me, when players come back in who can physically dominate the game, and move players around. They'll get the ball close to the basket, but for now, let it fly. Now Beverly, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Count it, good. Now it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Adentacumpo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the seams and change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his craft. Hey, DA, thanks for the report. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Jay Crowder. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And Damian Lillard is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And then for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. And it's Russell in for Dinwiddie. That's good from Kumbo. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Los Angeles calls timeout. You look at Kumbo really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Looking now at the numbers for Middleton, just an incredible month of basketball, averaging about 16 points, six assists, and six rebounds. 
And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. Now, here is Russell. Nothing on the board. And just miss after miss right now. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against Memphis. Middleton finds out to Jacumbo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. LeBron outside. To the wing on the left. Davis against Lillard from 11 feet away. That's good from Davis on the assist by Hachimura. Davis has got eight points. Good focus from AD. Doesn't let the defender throw him off. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. Lillard outside. That's good. He's five for nine. And Lillard refusing to be denied. Lakers trailed by seven. Russell passes to LeBron. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Middleton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Rui Hachimura picks one up. Now look how hard Middleton takes this one right into the paint, getting way too physical for the D to deal with. The Bucs shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. And that one falls for Middleton. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury and working to become better. Middleton hits them both. Lakers trailed by nine. Right side, Russell. Pass to Reeves. Loads it up for Davis. Ooh. Oh, no. goodness. Grab it out of half. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Chris Middleton. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And that one falls for Middleton. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Middleton hits them both. Now James, 11 points in the game. Smooth finish inside by LeBron. This is what James does. Scores the ball and does it in so many different ways. Russell against Lillard. Rebounded by the Lakers. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were 
in some hostile territory. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. The Lakers have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And that one falls for Hachimura. Yeah, Rui Hachimura is one of those guys who you're assured of as putting in the work in the offseason. I mean, his shot has gotten a little bit more accurate, and the confidence that he plays with continues to grow. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. Now, here is Russell. Hasn't made one yet. Here's LeBron. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Now just a two-point Milwaukee lead. Sometimes it's the simple play that's most effective. D'Lo with a nice assist. Lillard against Russell. Here's Lopez. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And let's check out stats for James. In the second half of this season, he's been nothing short of spectacular. Fourth and three-point field goal percentage. And don't forget, top five in the league in points per game. He's a premier offensive threat, night in and night out. And as you mentioned, top three in assists right now. He does a great job of running the offense, spotting the open guy, and making the sound delivery. The pass to Reeves. Feeds it to Davis. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And these are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA, showing you the top shooting teams in the league. That's the name of the game, putting the ball in the basket. The Lakers second. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots, and it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Lopez outside Lillard from outside it falls through making him six for 11 in the game Man, he is in the zone right now on offense guys building off that efficient first quarter inside it's so about it's a Kumbo and up the court come the Bucks on the break the shot by Middleton wide open Hachimura grabs the miss Hachimura's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight Takes it inside, and the dunk by Hachimura. And look out, Hachimura coming in strong. Bucks leading by three. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Lakers. With one game to go, let's take a look at how the final seeding will look in the East. You look at the Bucks. Right now, they've acquired the second-best record in the conference. And I think for Milwaukee, 
and they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now. After what they've done this season, their goal is nothing short of a title. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Here's Middleton, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Middleton's got six points in the quarter. Not much else the D can do against something like that. Chris Middleton so fast in getting that shot off. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Lillard, the pass to Giannis. He kicks it to Middleton. And Davis sends it back. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Lillard after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Lillard outside. Passes it to Middleton. Over Prince. Another miss by Middleton. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Kicks to Russell. Trying to get open as Davis buries it down low. Russell's got his second basket. Well, that's nice coordination as Russell seemed to know that he was going to get around the defense. And Damian Lillard with the jam. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Russell passes to Davis. To the inside, Beasley with the steal. Pass to Lopez. Shoots over Hachimura. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Beasley. Beasley's got three assists now in this one. Also looking it over. Lopez with the block. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. The feet to Lillard. The kick out to Lopez. Pass to Beasley. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches it. Does not find the target. That makes him three for five. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. They trail by three. Milwaukee has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Lillard, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Defensively, you have to stay as connected as you possibly can with Damian Lillard. He's just too good with the ball. That leads to a foul. The Bucks have shot six or seven at the line. First one falls for him. You love Lillard because he loves the game. And this is a guy who just wants to be out there. He wants the ball in the hands. And he tries not to get caught up in all the drama that happens around the game. It's 100% focused on it. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Malik Beasley. Oh, free throws good from Lillard. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Reeves the pass to Prince. And here's Reddish. There's the triple. They get it back. The second chance effort. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Hayes. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And a moment here to see the numbers for Lillard. Putting up about 24 points per. 
Seven assists and four rebounds. And guys, he can just explode for points anytime he steps on the court. Well, he looks to score, and he looks to score often. Lakers trail by three. Vincent with it. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. He's looking for Hayes and finds him. That shot is off. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Here's Vincent after the made shot from Jay Crowder. Prince, right side, Reeves. The shot's good on the assist by Prince. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Here's Beverly. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. It makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. Hayes the pass to Prince. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, you can't be late when Torian Prince is coming in there. He comes with such aggressiveness and force. Hard to slow down. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Milwaukee making a switch here. Gallinari's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Dinwiddie is checked in for Austin Reed. That one misses for Prince. Bucks leading by three. Here's Connington. Here's Portis. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Portis has got six. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Hayes the pass to Dinwiddie. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And Gallinari throws it down. Outstanding speed by Gallinari. He sees the opportunity, and the easy score takes advantage. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replay's here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that one. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Bucks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. 
Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pushing the ball and uh, get stops. We know that's Coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He ended up with 19 points, two rebounds, and three assists. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They've been knocking it down from three. You have to give the playmakers credit for consistently finding the open guy. And then, of course, their shooters have delivered. If they keep it up, they're going to be tough to beat. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. He's definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. Yeah, you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. And it's Lillard in at the point. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And the Lakers with possession here. After the miss, three from Damian Lillard. LeBron passes to Davis. He kicks it to Russell. Shoots over Lillard. They get it again. Tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And we get a moment to check out the team scoring leaders in fourth, the Bucks. And how about the year they've had offensively? This is a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. Always fun to watch them play. First free throw is good. I think as fans, you always want to see the best in the league healthy. Anthony Davis out there tonight. And the NBA is just better when AD's playing. Both good from the line that time. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Here's Lillard. Shoots it up. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Russell left side. Back to Davis. Russell finds Davis over Lillard. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just one on the basket from Anthony Davis. So cool to watch AD at his size be able to move like that, take a jumper from the mid-range. Now here's Beasley. He has seven. Now the pass to Lillard. Good on the triple. Lillard's got 22. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender that's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player you hate to see him give up in that situation here's Reeves on the wing James 
fader on the way. Here's Davis. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And Davis just eating up the boards on the inside and went right back up with it. And Lillard kicks to Lopez. Ball's knocked loose. Right at the free throw line. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. Lopez, an absolute mountain to deal with on the inside, and the defense doing all they can against him. For Milwaukee, they have shot the ball well from the free throw line, eight of nine. And he knocks down the first one. Just remarkable as the game has evolved, so has Brooke Lopez. You have that reliable three-point shooting ability that has become such a weapon of his. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Assertive move by LBJ, just taking what he wants inside. Now here's Middleton. Ten points for him. Here's Lopez. And again, the Bucks miss. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Hachimura. And the rejection by Adekumbo. Middleton for three. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? It's his first trip to the line. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard number. And it's tied up with that one. You know, just thinking about it, every year the physical and mental toughness of LeBron just gets more and more impressive, maintaining his spot at the top of his game. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And it gives us a chance here to check out some stats on Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been on a tremendous roll since the All-Star break. Third in scoring, and he's in the top 10 in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. 
And the only way you average top three in points if you have that scores mentality. He knows he's the go-to guy. And everyone else knows it as well. Now here's Middleton. Ten points for him. With the drive. Makes it off the glass. Middleton's got 12. Sprinting up the floor and beating everyone down. That's the reward for Chris Middleton. Loads it up for Davis. Deft touch on the alley-oop. And the Lakers lead by one. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Giannis with a muscle! And the defense, you thought they were helpless before. Now Giannis is hot. Here's Reeves, covered by Beasley. And Davis can't get it to go. The Bucs have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Feeds to Giannis. Against contact, Giannis out of the Kumbo forces it through. Giannis so strong. He almost invites that kind of contact and then says, I'm going right through you. Here's Reeves. Goes back up. And with that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Davis. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. You saw by that putback there, he's just completely locked in. They're getting full contributions from him right now. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Now, here's Lillard. He's covered closely. Got it. Good job in the low post. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. Outside, Russell. There's the dish to LeBron. Davis looking for an opening. Five on the clock. And there's the drive. Again with the block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Here's Giannis. Antetokounmpo using his size. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bucks. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. Well, something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff, and you got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. Los Angeles calls timeout. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Now they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and take a look at the leading rebounders since the All-Star break. Anthony Davis third. He has taken his rebounding very seriously since the break. It's really paid off for him and his team. Lillard against Russell. Vicious to Davis. To the paint. Here's Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Now here's under the Kumbo. He's got 22. That one falls. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Here's James. He dishes it to Davis. There's another block, and that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that 10th, too. And it goes down two points. Tremendous scoring output here from AD. I love this aggressive mindset. Lillard on top. 24 points for him. And he drops it in from the low post. Lillard's got 26. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. 
and it's Russell missing. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Now, here's Lillard. 26 points for him. LeBron with the block. That anticipation off the charts. Great job by LeBron to deny that one. Six on the shot clock. And LeBron with a clear path to the hoop. LeBron right to the finish. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Alinari comes in for Antetokounmpo. Jay Crowder's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Malik Beasley. And then for Los Angeles, Torian Prince, he's checked in for Rui Hachimura. Reddish comes in for Austin Reeves. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And I'm telling you what, on the other end, you're just waiting for when it's going to happen. Lillard is going to come at you. For Milwaukee, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. Lakers trail by three. Now Vincent pass to Davis. And the layup falls. Davis has got 14 points now in the second half. Yeah, the added muscle Davis has put on, helping him on these tough finishes. Flexing on him there. And that one's good. Beverly. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. LeBron passes to Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. Whenever Anthony Davis is rolling to the rim like he was right there after the screen, you have to get him the ball. He's going to capitalize most every time. Now here's Portis. Six points for him. Here's Crowder. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. Here's LeBron. Oh, James absorbed the hit on the drive. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Milwaukee has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. And Lillard kicks to Crowder. Bucks passing it around. Now here's Beverly, guarded by Reddish, and that one's good. Beverly. That's a pretty impressive finish for Montrez Harrell. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Milwaukee. Here's Vincent, covered by Lillard. Vincent misses. And so it's Milwaukee now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Now, Brent, when it comes to Portis, his duties have increased over the years. And that has a lot to do, Kevin, with the defensive improvement from Bobby Portis. He puts more effort into that D, and the coaches trust him more, not just to spark off the bench. So it's the Bucks now, following the bucket by the Lakers. Count that one. Lillard's got 30 points. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Here's Vincent, covered by Lillard. Vincent with it. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. Crowder against Prince. The shot by Crowder, no good. How about the timing 
he shows there to challenge that shot. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Beverly. That's tipped, and he recovers it. Right wing. Here's Lillard. And Davis pulls it down. The Lakers shooting 54% since they had a chance to talk things over at halftime. They're looking uh, locked in out there now. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. And it's Lillard missing. The Lakers shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. All right, a chance here to check out the stats for Portis. His last 10 games have been exceptional. And with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands, and he converts at a remarkable rate. And back to his efficiency from three, as you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, uh, but really to no avail. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Lillard. The Lakers also with a sub. Hayes, he's checked in for Davis. Gallinari down low, working on James, and it's Gallinari missing. Here's Reddish, and Reddish with the slam. And a nice, tricky handle from Reddish there, setting himself up and initiates for himself. 52 seconds left to play here in the third. Outside Crowder. Sinks that one from the post. Getting bumped after the shot. No problem for Jay Crowder. The Lakers in the lead. Here's James. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No question he got bumped on that shot. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Free throw good, LeBron. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Dinwiddie is checked in for Cameron Reddish. And both free throws good for LeBron. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half. But really, he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now, here's Beverly. He's got six. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That is his first foul of the game. And really, just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Lakers leading by three. And here is LeBron. He's got 29 points. Shoots the three. Ah, LeBron with that triple! Yeah, and LeBron has really changed his shot diet, shooting a lot more threes, and that puts more pressure on the D. And so it's Los Angeles, with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we take a look back to Doc Rivers talking to his team from his huddle. Keep making the extra pass. Everybody. That doesn't mean you got to shoot it. But if, if somebody's open, you give it to them. Hey, right here. Make your run one step at a time.
And obviously hoping for better team basketball. Doc Rivers really laying it out to his guys. And it's about maximizing each possession. Running your offense all the way through until you find a good shot. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Rui Hachimura out there with LeBron James, and it's Hayes in at center. The three from LeBron. It's good from long range. LeBron's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Onto the Kumbo beats the defense again. And tough to cover a Tentacumbo, especially this deep, and so good at using that length to shoot over the deep. Russell against Beverly. Kept alive. Another shot. Tries it again. Russell, no good. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. And good that time. Onto the Kumbos. Got four points this quarter. Well, that's a nice move on the bounce from Giannis, showing that the tools are getting sharper. Beverly against Russell. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That'll be his second foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Beasley's checked in for the Bucks. Davis has checked in for Los Angeles. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. James outside trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Good D by Lopez. Bucks trailed by five. Beasley outside. Well, Beasley has been explosive in some of the roles he's played. And with more responsibility, he's able to score a lot of points in bunches. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. They also have to admire the way they've gotten out and run in transition. And they've run wide, they've run their lanes, they've been doing it with a great pace. And that's produced some easy scores. That one is off. Lillard's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And he sinks the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. Pass to Davis. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. LeBron outside to the left wing. Six to shoot. And the Lakers with another miss. Bucks trailed by four. Here's onto Takumbo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Lillard against Russell. Takes a three. They grab their own miss. What tremendous hustle by Ana Kumbo! Great stuff. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Los Angeles calls timeout. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down.
And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, was able to listen in on Darvin Ham and his team. Now, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving everything you have. Bring this one home. We'll see if they can pull it off. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Reeves. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. And Middleton kicks to Adetokounmpo. The shot, no good. Great D that time from LeBron. Davis dishes to James. Out to Russell. Takes the three. Drills it from outside. Now it's a seven-point Laker lead. Well, the team gets Russell set up beautifully that time. Totally poised. And no hesitation on that, too. Here's Lillard. And he uses the glass on the layup. Lillard's got 32 points. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. James converts inside. And making it look easy, LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Lillard from outside, and the three ball is good. Lillard's got 16 here in the second half. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. Here's Russell. Kicks it out to LeBron. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. James has got 39. Uh, when LeBron's shooting like that, nothing you can do defensively. Lillard, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Lopez. Lillard outside. Five to shoot. Adetokounmpo against James. And it's Giannis missing. <laughs> when you are wrapped up that tightly in the mid-range, you are better off just moving the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. Now here's Davis. Rebound Giannis into the Kumbo. Onto the Kumbo's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Kicks it to Beasley. Pass to Onto the Kumbo. Second chance shot. Count the basket and the foul. That's on LeBron James. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. Lakers leading by three. Russell dishes to LeBron. The pass to Davis. Over Lopez. No good there off the double clutch. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Middleton can't get it to go. And I was sure that was money on that one but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two yeah that happens important thing is for players just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play and obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight yeah the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play this is a one man show right now he's on a mission to get him out of this hole
Free throw good. Giannis. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Russell, no good. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. Passes it to Middleton. There's the lob at the combo. And Giannis throws it down. And the athletic Middleton on that play snakes his pass right through the defense. That's a nice pick and roll. And Los Angeles, guys, uh, shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. LeBron trying to free himself up. And Russell gets it to go. Russell's got five points now in the quarter. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Pass to Beasley. Kicks it out to Lillard. Just five on the clock. Here's Giannis. The rebound by James. The Lakers have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. And it's slammed in by Davis. So much attention on James. He's able to get it to a teammate. That's a great look. Bucks trailed by four. Lillard from outside. The Lakers with the rebound. Here's LeBron. Outside Russell. Pass to Hachimura. There's the pass to Davis. Four on the clock. They get the rebound. And the shot goes in. And now a six-point Los Angeles lead. Now Davis is focused right now and is staying in a great rhythm no matter what kind of pressure he's facing. It's Beasley on the wing. Lillard against Russell. Lillard outside. Releases. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Lillard's got 37. You know, Lillard works so hard on the offensive end of the floor. It's really what helps him get going like this. Davis, the pass to Hachimura. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. Milwaukee making a switch here. Portis has checked in. Here's LeBron. Shot clock at five. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Adetokounmpo kicks to Portis. Giannis passes to Portis. And Portis throws it down. And Giannis treating the defense like a magazine. Easy reading here for him. The Lakers in the lead. James looking it over. It's so about to Jacumbo. And now Lillard pushing it up. No one back to stop him. To tie it up. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Count it. Reeves has got four points this quarter. And all quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee.
And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. On defense, the Lakers. Lillard surveying the D. Over Russell. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Lillard. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Here's Reeves. There's the dish to James. Davis kicks to Russell. Clock at six. They get it back. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Now, here is Russell. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. Giannis outside. Passes to Forks. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. The lead is two. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Here's Lillard. Following the bucket by the Lakers. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Lillard's got 42 in the game. Look at your watch. It's Lillard time. Man, the score being this close, you have to retain possession of the ball. You just can't give it away like that. One oh four left in the fourth quarter. James again is on the Kumbo. Count it. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by one. Fifty two seconds left in the fourth quarter. James against Giannis. It falls! And this is who LeBron James is. An incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy willing to step up. Now here's Giannis. 
and he gets it to go. Well, so exciting to see the growth of the Greek freak. There are shots that stars sink, and that's a momentum changer right there. Now LeBron. 30 seconds left to play here in the fourth. It's good! Yeah, it goes, but that's just not smart basketball. Right, right now, you need to massage the clock a little bit more. That shot came way too early. Timeout called the Bucks. They trailed by one. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Giannis against James. Here's onto Takumbo, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on LeBron James. Well, I love that Giannis is sticking to his method for free throws. Obviously, he's changed that a little bit, but his confidence remains high. First free throw is good, and that ties the game up. Big trip for Giannis. Normally at the stride, he's better in the pressure moment. And so both free throws good that time, and that puts him ahead. And you just have to understand that hours and hours of practice mean that clutch free throws become easy. Timeout called the Lakers. They're behind by one. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Well, guys, what do you think? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And yeah, sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bounce pass, Russell. The turnaround. Missed! And he's been a force on the glass all game long. 
Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. And so it's the Lakers with it. Pass to Reeves. On loads. He made it. He gets it to go. Wow. Gets the big time shot to fall, folks. And now we're headed to OT. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. So it's the Lakers now. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. Here's Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Let's it go. Beasley with the rebound. And Beasley has the ball here for the Milwaukee Bucks. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Prince is checked in. Lillard with it. Puts up a three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis is Lopez against Russell and the pass to Davis over Lillard eight feet away he gets that one Davis has got the first points here in the overtime period for the Lakers and when Davis is releasing his shot from that high in the air there's just no way to contest that Beasley finds Lopez It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. Here's Beasley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Beasley's got the game tied up here for Milwaukee. Well, for a guy who does a lot of his work on the perimeter, Beasley gets into the painted area. Here's Reeves, covered by Beasley. Reeves gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by two. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's Beasley. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the floor as we've gotten this overtime period underway. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. Well, A.D. defining the word clutch on that one. Huge shot there. Lillard against Russell. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Lays it up and banks it in. Wow, Lopez stepping up. What confidence from the big fella. Timeout called the Lakers.
We're in overtime. If you've just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. Davis kicks to Russell. Prince looking around. Six on the shot clock. The feed now to Davis. Lopez with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of four on their field goal attempts since the beginning of overtime. Here's on to Takumbo. Kicks it out to Beasley to take the lead. He goes up again. Lopez, no luck. The Lakers on offense. Pass to LeBron. Trying to get open is Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And how many times have we seen this? LeBron at the line in a big moment. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that gives them the lead. Yeah, one more make would have been nice, but they do walk away with the lead. Milwaukee's got neither of their first two three-point attempts to fall here in overtime. Lillard from outside, and James pulls it down. James has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. He blocks it again! And swatting shots away with ferocity. And G.A., he is not messing around in this one. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Outside, Russell. Pass to James. Count it, and the foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And LeBron James is going to take every crucial possession over. Outstanding shot there. Free throw good, James. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on it. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. Lent it go with a three. And James pulls it down. Lakers have gone four for seven on their shot attempts in the extra period up to this point. Misses from short range. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their initial nine shots here in overtime to fall. Here's Middleton. Good D by James. Here are the Lakers. The lead is two. It's hauled in by Giannis. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. They had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. Yeah, and, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth 
at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. And he is unable to get the second one. And here's Los Angeles. They lead by one. Loads it up for Davis. Yes! As soon as Davis receives the ball, you just know he's going to take it at the D. And the basket there was big. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by three. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by three. There's 25 seconds left in the first overtime.
Lillard outside. Here's Giannis. Money! And that's what you want your leaders to do. Giannis stepping up in a big way. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Gets the first, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Huge free throws. Bumps the lead up to three, and now they simply have to guard against the three ball. And no secret here, guys. They've got to get a three if we're going to get yet another overtime. Good! Inside, Giannis knows he's got all the tools, height, touch, power, it's all there. And so the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. And the Bucks with possession here. Middleton left side. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime and, and this win has to feel satisfying and now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game David take it away thanks very much AD nice win how close is the team to being ready for the playoffs um I think we're close we're not too far off some areas we have to get better at you know tonight you know was a good test for us I mean this team is a hell of a team. Um, they can shoot the ball very well, and we know it's going to be tough to win against teams like this. Um, I think we're close. You know, I mean, when we get leads, we got to learn how to maintain leads. Um, it's pretty easy for us to get a lead when we come and play the style that we want to, but you know, we kind of take our foot off the gas a little bit and let teams get back in it. Yeah, I know there's some stuff to work on, but congrats on the win. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Here we are at the final game of the regular season, Grant. For the players, are there some mixed emotions in these situations? Oh, absolutely, B.A. I mean, it's nice to be at the finish line, but you always have some regrets from the season. Everyone thinks their record could have been at least one game or two better. And the Lakers starting five. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three slot. The shot by Lillard, no good. Now Los Angeles with it. They've traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks, and came away with the win. They pulled out the last one against this team because they didn't waste their chances at the foul line. Beasley for three. Davis with a rebound. 
Pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. James outside. Let's the three fly. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. If you're the defender, what do you do there? How do you really play LeBron in the pick and roll? Russell against Lillard. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Middleton from the outside. Rebound, the Lakers. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. So it's Milwaukee now. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Pass to Middleton. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Yeah, as good as anyone on the catch and shoot. Middleton deposits another J. Russell deciding where to go with it. Achimura against Middleton. And the basket by Achimura. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. For three, here's Lillard. Drains the triple. A genuine sniper from downtown. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Beasley outside. Back to Lillard. Six to shoot. Again, Milwaukee. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Outside Russell, on the wing Davis, and again, it's the Lakers. You pick a level, he'll show you how to get it done, and the mid-range happens to be one of them. Lillard right side. Over James, again the box, good for two. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Russell, the pass to Davis. To the paint. Here's Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Count the basket. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Russell. No made baskets yet. Pass to Davis. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Hachimura against Middleton. Hachimura with the defensive effort. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. 
Here's Middleton. He shoots again. They shoot again. They get it again. Here's Anadokounmpo. Yeah, nice fake by Giannis. And as a defender, you just shake your head. And the first one at the line is good. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Lakers have got six of eight shots to go. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. With only one game left, let's take a look at what the final standings could look like out east. Taking a look at Milwaukee, with the playoffs fast approaching, they are well positioned at second place in the conference. I think for the Bucks, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season, but now they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Let's it fly. Lillard with the bucket. Lillard's got nine. I love how tricky Dame can be. He uses a pull-up J to catch the defender totally off balance. On the wing, Reeves. He's guarded by Beasley. For three, James. The rebound by Beasley. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. And that one's good. He's got 11. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Russell. Driving in. 
So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, love when Russell attacks defenses, charging with tenacity and making them compromise. Free throw is good from Russell. Yes, yeah, so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. And that's good as he hits both shots. And so Ana Kumpo will bring it up for the Bucks. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. For three, here's Lillard. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Throws it up high. And Davis slams it home. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Now here's Middleton. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. That free throw, good from Middleton. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Second free throw, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. To the inside, Reeves. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Reeves has gotten his second bucket of the game. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Milwaukee has gone two of five from deep. Middleton looking around. Davis with the block. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. No luck on that one. Good D by Ana Kumpo. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Middleton. Hachimura with the defensive effort. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Here's James. Here's Davis. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Davis has got six. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Timeout called the Bucks. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page.
And the Bucks with some changes. Crowder, he's checked in for Middleton. Connaughton comes in for Beasley. And it's Beverly in for Damian Lillard. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for Russell. Now here's Anadokounmpo. The stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. Davis misses. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Connaughton. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. And the Bucks lead by one. And that's just Giannis making the right play, feeding the open man. Davis against Portis. Vincent in tight. He gets the jumper to fall. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Crowder. Doesn't go that time. Achimura with the defensive effort. James, outside. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Beverly. Rebound, the Lakers. Hachimura's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to James. And he lobs it up to the rim. Reddish misses. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Here's Anadokounmpo. And it's blocked by Davis. Here's Hachimura. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Hachimura's got nine points. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers? When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. Yeah, I also like how they've immediately gotten out in transition. They came to run, and we'll see if they can keep it up. Here's James. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. He takes it in. Ooh, LeBron with the slam! The fact that LeBron James can still do that at 100 years old, like, it's a travesty that he never participated in the dunk contest. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Connaughton, right side. Perfect night so far, two for two. Got it in deep, and that's how you do it. The Lakers in the lead. James, outside. Outside Reddish. Pass to Achimura. Over Crowder. Here's Davis. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo's got seven rebounds in the game. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. Oh, he picked him clean. Hachimura with the ball. Now guarded by Crowder. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Free throw good. Achimura. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Bucks. Hayes is checked in for Los Angeles. Prince comes in for LeBron. And both free throws good for Achimura. The Bucks trail. Inside. And then Portis with the dunk. 
He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. The baseline, Jay. Count it for Vincent. And the Lakers lead by three. Woo, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Connaughton outside. Again, the box. Good for two. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. 43 seconds left now in the first quarter. And the basket by Hachimura. Hachimura's got 13. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Now here's Connaughton. Eight points in his last timeout. Outside Gallinari. From deep. Connects from downtown. And that makes it a tie ball game. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. 11 feet out. That one's wide left. Here's Connaughton. Offensive board with four on the clock. Nice D from Reddish. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Just a big-time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Milwaukee Bucks. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. Back to the game after this break. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stat-wise? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Danilo Gallinari out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Lillard in at point guard. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Pass to Reeves. Back to Russell. Rejected by Lopez. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo says his greatest challenge lies within. He said, quote, I don't compete with others. I just compete with myself. Every other night, it's going to be another great player, but I just try to be consistent, have fun, enjoy the game, create art, and be the best I can be. Artistry. I like it, Ali. Thank you. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks, Trailing by four. Middleton with it. Russell covering. Pass to Lillard. And here's Lopez. Back to Lillard. Ball stolen. Here's Prince. Nine points in his last outing. Now Russell. Here's Hachimura. He's covered by Gallinari. And the basket by Hachimura. And it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. 
and he's coming off a huge performance and his confidence couldn't be any higher and his coach knows that too when it ain't broke leave it alone until someone stops him just let him roll just a highly effective free throw shooter you cannot afford to give Lillard too many looks from the charity stripe Free throw good, Lillard. Yeah, I think something that doesn't get appreciated enough is Lillard's patience. But he's not one to rush things or look for easy outs. He knows it takes hard work to succeed. And the Bucks making a change here. Anadokounmpo's checked in. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Achimura. And both free throws good for Lillard. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. And he lobs it up and finished off by Davis. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Prince against Middleton. Down low. Cuts off the pass. The shot by Russell, no good. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And Giannis has a ridiculous combination of size, skill, and athleticism. From 13, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Brooke Lopez. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Beasley left side. That one's good for two. He's good enough where it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. The Lakers have gone four for six here on the second. To the left side wing. Russell the pass to Reeves. And that one is stuffed right through. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Milwaukee calls timeout.
Since the All-Star break, your NBA assist leaders. LeBron James, third. And since the All-Star break, his passing has been incredible. Just finding his guys in their spots and playing the role of facilitator. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. He's got a clear path. He goes up. Here's Reeves. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven-point differential. Lopez with it. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And the Bucks miss again. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. Five on the clock. Another shot. Uses the glass that time. It's good. Davis has got ten points in the game. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Ana Nakupo finds Lillard. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Chris Middleton. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. And he drops the first. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. And both free throws good for Lillard. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. James strong inside. When we watch James still play at this level, it's crazy to think that he joined the league in 2003. Here's Middleton. And Davis with the block. And Lopez gets it to go. The Lakers have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. Here's James. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Look, getting inside positioning is what he wants. Like, once that man gets in there and gets moving, oh, he's going to finish that dunk. Pulls up. Rebound, the Lakers. James has got his fifth rebound in this one. Prince on the attack. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The Bucks have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Here's Lillard. Oh, Lillard shrugs off the contact. Come on, man. Did you say, I mean, just using his strong frame to absorb the contact and still able to finish? Wow. On the wing, Reeves. He's guarded by Beasley. Pass to Prince. Six on the shot clock. Ana Kumpo grabs the board. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now Russell. The three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Russell's got seven points. No hesitation from Russell. I like seeing him make quick decisions and take these shots. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question.
Dinwiddie, he's checked in for the Lakers. With only one game left, let's take a peek at how the final seedings could look in the West. You look at the Lakers. They're clinging on to the final playoff spot in the conference, trying to improve their position if possible. When I look at the Lakers, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. And you have to wonder if this roster can get to that next level. They have talent, but if it doesn't come together, they might have to shake it up. And some fans wince when he takes them, but Giannis can and will hit the occasional three-point shot. Lopez against Davis. Pass to Prince. Davis with it, covered by Lopez. Fade away. Giannis with the rebound. Adetokounmpo has got rebound number 11. Here's Middleton. That one no good. Good work defensively by Russell. It's Prince on the wing. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Davis hits. Milwaukee has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Middleton against Prince. Beasley for three. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Beasley's got five now. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. And Davis slams it home. And this is what point guards like Russell are responsible for, setting the table for his guys. To the middle. Oh, got a piece of it. James deciding where to go with it. Davis misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And so the ball out of bounds. Beasley touched it last. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. Crowder, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Connaughton comes in for Beasley. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for Russell. The Lakers in the lead. Now Lillard. 20 points for him. Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Great idea by Lillard using that experience to run the offense. And for the Lakers, they're shooting around 60% in the second. An excellent number. Anadokounmpo against James. Back to Vincent. For three... Milwaukee with the rebound. To the paint. Here's Lillard. Oh, how about the body control by Lillard? I mean, he makes those in his sleep. And I'm sure Lillard's hit harder in practice. The Lakers call timeout. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order and you can never be too content.
Portis. He's checked in for Lopez. Hayes is checked in for Los Angeles. Achimura comes in for James. Here's Vincent. To the inside. Hey, shot's good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. They trail by six. Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Dinwiddie outside. Shot clock at six. Let's it fly. Rebound, Milwaukee. Anacupo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Dinwiddie against Connaughton. Dinwiddie passes to Achimura. Here's Vincent. Oh, there's the alley! Crowder against Reddish. On to Kumpo. No stopping Giannis. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Here's Dinwiddie. Still no points. A minute 37 left to play in the second quarter. And the layup is good off the glass. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Ana Kumpo. He's got 15. Bully ball in the paint from Giannis. Yeah, sometimes even Giannis needs help. The play gets him all the room he needs to strike. Now here's Hayes. 54 seconds left in the first half. Count it for Vincent. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. Getting comfortable in the second quarter. His efficiency is finally on the rise. It's Denwitty on the wing. Back to Vincent. <laughs> 